Hello and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. We're going to try an experiment here, which we've never done before because we've never been to a, a bingo hall. No! Oh my god! Oh, if you want to. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Tonight we head into Northwood Cheshire to investigate a building set to be a central hive of paranormal activity. Join us as we delve deep on our journey to investigate the hauntings of Northwich Plaza. Built in 1928, it closed as a cinema in the 60s and became a bingo hall, and is renowned as a local focus for paranormal activity. Attracting ghost hunters and mediums from around the country, eager to experience the unusual atmosphere that this building emits. It has not been a place to see films since the late 1960s, yet some spirits seem to return time and time again. Are the spirits waiting for their final number to be called? Who or what still haunts this building? Northwich Plaza has never been investigated before and tonight we are joined by two very special mediums, Jackie Dennison and Steve Furlong, who have both had personal experiences here. Jackie, Steve, welcome. Uh, to Ghost Dimension. Tonight we're investigating Northwich Plaza. Mm -hmm. Have you been here before? Oh, yes. we have. Yeah. <laughs> Once or twice, haven't yes, we? Yeah. <laughs> what can we expect when we go through here tonight and investigate? Um, it depends who's here, who's in residence tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because of its many functions, mm -hmm. there are lots of um, extras, shall we say. So, yeah, you can expect some spectacular can you events, tell us, I think. Can you tell us about some of those extras? You got a great one on camera, didn't you, on the CCTV? Walking down from uh, yeah. the, the, the back of the, uh, the lower level, walking down the corridor there, um, we, we saw the light uh, with an outline of a figure of a man following one of the, the, uh, the visitors yeah. uh, down the, the uh, alley. Um, quite clearly, wasn't it, on the camera? Yeah, well we actually watched him, we thought he'd gone into the gentleman's toilet, so yeah. we, we had a look round, there was no, no, one, there. no, no one, one there. And I wasn't going in the gents, you went in, didn't oh. you? I didn't. Oh. <laughs> how long have you guys been um, practicing mediumship? Oh God, how long's a piece of string? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. To get together, like together, 15 years? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Separately longer than that? Separately longer than that, yeah. Brilliant. So with your mediumship, can you, uh, do you sense stuff that's happened or may happen or do you actually sense the actual figures in people? It, it depends who, it depends which spirit you're linking into. Yeah. Yeah, because um, if you imagine, you know, like you've got different personalities, yeah. we've got different personalities, so when you go over to the spirit world, you don't always about when you an angel, mm -hmm. so you've got different personalities, so your vibration's different. Right. So it depends what that vibration's like as to how you tap into it. So mm -hmm. some of them can be quite sort of a solid yeah. type figure. Uh, others are literally just a vibration or you are just a, it's like a knowing, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes as well you can connect with the, the building where that, that's there mm -hmm. yeah. and see the building like it was before. It's almost wow. as if you, you're that's travelling back to how it was previously. You can just see it quite clearly that it's changed, you know, like, and how it's changed. That must be amazing to see. It's very, it's really interesting, especially if you go to like a, a something that was maybe a stately home or something like that, and you go in and everything suddenly changes and, and you get a, a, just for a, a, a fleeting second, mm. a glimpse of what it was like. Yeah. But you can hear it as well. You can hear the vibration. It is very active here for hearing. Yeah. So are, are you sensing anything at this moment in time anywhere? where we should head. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
there's a lady that keeps walking down these stairs. That's why I was smiling because she came down and she and this has happened to us before here. She came down and she sort of looked like that and then she sort of, she's gone back again now. But as we were talking. Yeah, as we were talking. I heard footsteps Did and you? I was going to turn round for a thought of car because we're on camera doing an interview yeah. so I couldn't yeah. but I heard the footsteps. I yeah. did hear footsteps. She's someone that we've encountered a few times right. and we've actually sat in the balcony, haven't we? Yeah. And we've heard her skirt, she's got a long skirt. Yeah. You can hear the switch. Of her skirt? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, so yeah. we hear that tonight, <laughs> yeah. Well, she normally, well, we won't tell you where she normally sits. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we know where she normally well, let's sits. Let's see if she turns up. Let's see if she yeah. turns up, yeah. Right. And so we just be upset. Yeah. Should we go? So those stairs and those stairs both lead to the same place. Okay. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Right. After you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Jackie, you brought us to these these chairs. Mm. You felt something here. Well, this is where we've experienced uh, things here in this aisle, and in in this area. So this is the area where I was when the lady came past and we saw the orb and this is the area where Steve was overshadowed mm -hmm. yeah and you were literally sat roughly it always appears to be in this in general this, bottom corner doesn't it here yeah, yeah. it's um it was it was it, this seat or last seat where, where I was uh, overshadowed where, where I felt the energy come right in front um I'm not feeling anything here at the at this moment but, uh, well, what do you think the energy could have been I did I, I did genuinely feel that the um the energy of a gentleman, uh, and it sort of it made me sit up more upright, you know, in the in the seat as if as if we weren't allowed to slouch. We had to have a, a stiff back, you know, and that that was the the military feeling that I, that I got with him. And I, but I didn't feel he was he was a, a low rank military. I think he'd been in the military for quite some time, and he was a very he was a very authoritarian person. But I think he came here for a bit of. R and R, yeah. but uh, yeah. I think he found it very difficult to relax. So he, although he was more relaxed than he would be normally, he was still very ramrod straight, you know. So this would be a good place for a lone vigil, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. 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 Uh, particularly around this yeah. area. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's well, interesting that we thought about the lady with the skirt. You know, you could hear them yeah. swish, um, which would indicate she'd got long a long skirt on. But this wasn't built until. The, you know the mid 1920s, so 1926, 1928, I think, yeah. when it was built, and they wouldn't necessarily have worn long skirts no. at that time, which could mean that she was part of the music hall. Yes, she could. Uh, she could have been one of the ladies of the stage. Yes. She could have been. Yeah, well, yeah. doing a performance. Yeah. Could, she could have been. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, maybe she'd come up here to you know watch the rest of the performance. You know. Yeah. I don't know. We should have talked to her. Yeah. We should have asked her. Well, we did try. We did try, yeah. You're very trying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we always feel as though we're being watched from that little booth that's down there or by the by the doorway. Okay. So, And I think that's what you've just seen. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was almost as if he was, they were observing what's, what's what we were doing, yeah. what's, what's, what's what going on doing? up there. Yeah. 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 Maybe they're thinking they've got in without paying because they're yeah. your yeah. ticket booth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We not bought a ticket. <laughs> Maybe we should go buy a ticket now. <laughs> should we head down there now then? Yeah. Yeah. You've been drawn and you've taken us to behind the stage. What'd you pick up? Th there is, you know the heaviness that we felt before? Yeah. That, that is, it, it sort of followed us through to here. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I can feel it on, on my chest, can you? Yeah. yeah. Tightness in the chair, like yeah. as if yeah. it's the difficulty breathing, or yeah. just yeah. Um, can you feel that? Yeah, like a, we felt the very yeah. strange sensation, mm. isn't it? And mm. it's like it's closing, it, closing in on us. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Why do you say Is that? that because I feel as though we're being herded, right? Almost like there's someone there ra walking around us, mm. trying to pull us in together, yeah, yeah. It, like we're being herded into a place now. I don't know whether that's to stop us from going somewhere, yeah. or whether uh, they want to make a statement, they right. want to say something. I don't know, but I do feel it's a male, and there's something wrong with his leg because my right leg's just gone really you say that, weird. I'm pain right down the outside of me, right? Uh, leg, your right leg, yeah, me yeah. too. So you both got pains on the leg. Right, yeah. right leg. I feel right. as though you want to buckle. I just yeah. thought it was old age creeping. <laughs> Can you speak for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. 
That was weird. What? What did you feel around? I, I didn't expect that to happen. Tw- tap twice. On your leg? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, you seriously did, yeah, yeah. Okay, can you do that again? That really weird. Sean had been touched on his leg. Was this the same spirit that had placed its feelings onto our mediums? Would this spirit make contact with our team again during our investigation? Weird. Okay. Where do you find so, it again? Yeah, but he's having a bit of fun with us yeah. now. Yeah. So he's a, nice, he's a nice yeah, spirit. Yeah, I don't feel... And that's the thing, I don't feel negative no. here. There's not a negative no. feel, there's just like somebody who would really have a bit of fun with you. But yeah. there are some, like the doorman, who mm. were quite mm. stern. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That heaviness has got. So, I'm sorry, I yeah, don't. No, like, you're that heaviness has come back yeah. really, really strong. Mm. And I've, if I said to you, you're far too young to remember Mr. Pastry, but I'm looking at you when no, I'm saying no, this. No, no, no. <laughs> Mr. Pastry was a, a, an old time music hall act. Uh, not that I remember that, I hasten to add. He made uh, He did make All right, okay. <laughs> no, he didn't make cakes. Um, but he was um, a bit like, uh, look, a bit like a mad professor. Yeah. Right. That's the image I've got of someone who looks like that. Like yeah. Professor. Yeah, and he stood just over there. He's really having a good look at us. So I think he's taken quite a shine to you. Really? Yes. Okay because he keeps sort of looking around like that, as if he's mm. looking towards you. Right. So maybe uh, maybe we'll make his acquaintance. Yeah. Maybe, maybe yeah. you should do a vigil here. <laughs> yeah. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> Is it George? That's George. I thought. It could have been George. Yeah. It, could have been, it could be George. It is. And this person's called George? Yeah, we know who he is. Do yeah, we, we do. Yeah. We do yeah. know Who's who he George? is. George? used to have a shop across the road and we used to be in his shop so we've encountered him but how we're encountering him now is in his stage persona because we're we're also aware that that he he was a a stage performer as well i don't know if he ever performed on this stage no i don't think we could have drawn him over Mm. well he's very active in the area he still pops in to see us at feathers not in his mad professor act but yes we'll find some photographs and show you there's some film footage of george as well on stage okay so yeah that could very well be yeah yeah Steve and Jackie had sensed both male and female spirits. Sean had already been touched. Now it's time for our investigation. What else will we encounter tonight? Well, it was a fantastic walkabout with Jackie. Yes, and Jackie and Steve and were Steve. brilliant mediums tonight. So we, we should now investigate, first of all, in here, which is bizarre that we're saying that, because as we're saying that... We can hear noises. We can hear noises. We tap, tap. OK, so that means... A definite yes to go off. We've we've already, as we were doing a walk around with Jackie and Steve, heard loads of noises being touched and everything. So uh, the activity is rife in here. So let's start in here. Yeah. While all this activity is here now. Yeah. And later split. Yes. Then send everybody off on the loan vigils and. Let's see. That is again. really weird. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Great idea. Go. Join us in a minute. Okay, so let's do our main investigation in the bingo hall. Yeah. Already. Did you hear that? I did. That was like some weird clicking that, noise. It was like somebody was about to sit down over there. Should we go over? Yeah. Whoa, okay. That was at the back here, look. Did you hear that? Hello? <coughs> Anyone there? Let's go over, Bex. Okay. Right. Okay. So it's it's been interesting so far. <coughs> we we've picked up on notes. We we entered the building, and there's been so much. Bex, why are we whispering? I don't know, actually. I think it's because it's making us whisper. I think so, because you whisper, don't you? Yeah. Should we do an experiment while we're here? Yeah, what do you want to do? Let's go call numbers out. Okay, come, come on. on. 
Two fat ladies. Eighty-eight. No, no. <coughs> Line ninety. We're going to try an experiment here, which we've never done before because we've never been to a, a never bingo, bingo hall, hall. No. which is to, uh, well, use the building's energy. Yes. Okay, watch your step. I can't see it. Oh, it doesn't feel good around here, does it? No. Yeah, because the light came out. Well, we walked around on the VT and we closed that to do the VT. We did. Do you remember? Yeah. When we was with... We closed it with Jackie. Jackie. That's interesting. We'll open it and close it again. Let's see. Oh. <coughs> Does it close? That takes some force. That was weird. Okay, so now we're on the stage where the numbers would have been called. There it is. There's the main hub, the brain of it all. There's the numbers. We stand up here. <coughs> you call this the numbers out. This is what you see. One Knock on the four. I was going to say that. One and fourteen. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen. Seven and one. What? <laughs> no. Yeah. It appeared our experiment was working, as when Sean said fourteen, we heard somebody audibly say, "Shh." Was this the lost soul of a bingo player, or someone from the Plaza Theatre years? Fourteen, seven and one. What? Shh. No. Yeah. Five and nine. Fifty-nine. Come on for the full house. Six zero. Oh. You know what it sounds like? You know the little sliding things. S yes. It sounds like the sliding. Sliding. Almost. Let's see if we can get him to do it. Yeah. Uh, six and five. 65, 7 and 8, 78, on its own, number 3. Knock at the door, number 4. No! Oh my god! Oh my god. There was a knock yeah. at the door. Yeah? Seriously. 1 and 8, 18. Two fat ladies, 88. Lucky seven. Unlucky for some, 13. Are you one of the punters that would have come in here? Or are you somebody who watched the show? Do you know who we are? So what's your name? Can you can we have a name off you? I had a seat yeah. or somebody yeah. sitting in this auditorium. Can you touch one of us? Can you speak to us? You hear that? Yeah, I heard that, yeah. That was really near, close to us. Just two little taps there. Tell us who you are. That was weird. Can I go check it? While Sean checks that out, I'm going to stay here. <coughs> I'm going to stay here. I'm gonna see if there's any. Any the, Wouldn't it be good if a light came on? So I'm gonna spin round. 
Is your name Peter? Is there a Peter in the building? What was that? Babe, babe, come back here. Whoa, whoa, okay. What's up? I swear. I saw a shadow. On the camera? There. Oh, See those two that. doors there? The back. Here. You saw a shadow? I saw, sure, I saw a shadow walk. When I asked for Peter. And you know what I was about to say next? Were you a janitor here? And I'm sure I saw a shadow. Might have just been my, my eyes playing up, but because it's like late and I'm tired. <coughs> I'm gonna check that for a couple of minutes. And yeah. then you wait here. I'm gonna see you because when we split up, yeah. we got stuff. See you soon. See if that door opens. I will Ask check that it. Door so open the I'll check it. Open the door. You're here. Okay. Peter. Hey. Open the door and do not display me the doors over there. If you can see, I'll show you. Okay, look. As I asked for a spirit named Peter to acknowledge his presence, a loud, clear bang was caught on camera. If this was Peter, he was a very strong spirit energy. Peter, was that you that I just caught on camera? I hope it was. I, I'm. Oh my god. What the hell was that? That was a big bang. Really big. That was like one of the chairs coming down. <coughs> Peter, are you annoyed that we're here? Can you come and touch me again? Have you touched me before in here? Come and touch me. I heard that. I heard that. Bex is out there and I heard that. Oh, somebody poked my back. My back. Somebody poked. Is that. Are you here with us? Oh, okay, okay. Somebody touched me, somebody tapped. Let's check that again. Give me a sign, you hear? Give me one big noise. Now, go on. I'll shut that door. Open it. Somebody was by my feet then. Somebody was really by my feet. Peter, come a bit closer to me. <coughs> Don't stay down there. I can hear rustling. All over this building I can hear lots of rustling. Sean, see if you can close the door that he's in. Ooh. Pokes me again. Somebody poked me then. Again. That's really, really weird. I'm getting out of here. Oh, that was a big noise. It was a big, big noise then. I heard something. It's funny because I went and asked Peter if he could affect Sean through there. And I heard Sean saying, Oh my God, what was that? Somebody definitely poked me. Did they? Well, I asked Peter. I said, Peter, go and affect Sean. And then I got you saying in there, Oh my God, what was that? Yeah, somebody definitely poked me. I think it's a good time to go and split up. I think it is. And get out there and Give see the what cameras we get. off to people. Yeah. Because it's rife, isn't it? 
proper active. We just we came in this afternoon. Oh, okay. I heard that keys was true. Jingling. And oh, keys jingling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? Oh. What's that? That is weird, Bex. I know. Can you see anything? No. Down there, let's go down. And then let's go and get the people out here at that. Okay, let's go down. Behind us? Yeah. A growl? Yeah. Yeah, that was weird. That was a... It's like it was glad... Oh! Oh! <gasps> me! Shit, brick man! What the hell was that? I hit it. No! What's this? Wait, it's over there. Where? It's over there. It's over there. It's like the it? numbers rattling. It's the numbers. Let me check these numbers. Ow, oh, that's mini. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, same noise. I said that before. Same noise. Oh my god, somebody touched my legs. Oh, babe. It was them. It was them. You touched them and then they rattled. Did you catch it? I had it on it. Touched them again. I'm not touching him again, okay. Do it again. Trudy. Yeah. The plaza was full of activity, which seemed to increase when we were on our own. So we split up into lone vigils to investigate further. Okay, so myself and Emma, I'm gonna do a lone vigil down in the basement. As you can see, Emma's already gone down there. All right, I'll carry it down. Yeah. So we'll see what I can see down there. Yeah. So I've taken the foyer as my lone vigil. We've just finished um, interviews with the medium, Jackie and Steve. And as we were doing an interview, the first piece in the foyer, she was saying about a lady walking down them stairs. Um, them stairs, can you see them? Yeah. In a swishy dress. And I could hear footsteps coming down. I've just heard somebody say shh. So I'm going to sit where we sat with Jackie before. And let's see if I can encourage some activity to come and join me. Okay, is anyone here with me? I've got a device in my hand called a K2 meter. Now if you come towards that, it will detect you and it will light up the lights on, on this meter and I'll be able to see you. You can see there's only one light on at the moment. Or if you want to... Whoa, okay. Okay. Now that was a chair beside me. And you would have heard that. I'm just going to see if I can see where it was. Whoa, okay. I'm just going to see if I can see this chair. That was instantaneous. We put all these chairs up before. And there should be none that are down at this moment in time. For anybody that's here with us, communicate with us. Can you make a noise for me? Just say that quick woo then, when you ask for anyone here. It was like a woo. Can you make that noise again for us? George, are you here? Oh. Could be dust. Did you hear that? 
a school bell. I can hear a bell. Yeah, I'm hoping the camera picked that up. Can you make that noise again for us, please? Can you knock or bang? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call out here and then I'll take you up the stairs maybe. Or up those stairs. I don't think we can go up those stairs, but I'll take you up then. Is there anybody here? You can... I don't know if you can pick up bells, but that'll be the church outside, so it's nothing to do with in here. I'm going to spin this camera around so you can see what I can see. There's a giant Santa, so don't be alarmed if the camera catches and the doors to exit. And there's the big stairs that we went up before to go to, to the top. And here are the stairs where Jackie said she heard the lady coming down. Is there anyone here? Can you give me a sign? Say your name. Can you touch me? There's some rustling on these boards here. Let's see if I can get a back shot. Some rustling on those boards. It's almost as if somebody's in there. I'll take the camera around to show you. Is anyone there? I can't see it. Oh! Sorry, it was a piece of glass. I didn't know it was a glass. Yeah, that's what we've got there. Can't really see him. I'm gonna ring this bell. I'm gonna ring the bell. I want you to come out. If you can come out and speak to me, I'd love it. We can have a conversation and get to know each other. Okay, as you can see, there's a chair down. Definitely a chair down, which means somebody was coming to sit next to me or near me. Very strange. These are the original chairs that were in the cinema here um, in the 1930s, 40s. And so that's why they are, they're here. And I think some of the energy of people sitting around here must have been immense and they're still here with us now. So if you're here with me, like I said, you can like this device or come and sit down at a chair again with me. Hello? Hello? There was a voice, like a whisper of a... Oh. Up here. Hello? Another breath. Like a breathy. There was a voice there, a clear voice. There's definite voices. It's like a woman screaming. Yeah. did say there was uh, a child in this area that might explain the bangs and knocks, you know, if it's trying to communicate through play. Do you want to play? Hello? Okay, that's bizarre. <coughs> I can hear voices. 
And it's the only thing outside is the church bells, but I can hear voices. Male voices. Are you here with me now? Did the bell do something? Did it conjure up something? I'm going to walk over to the stairs. See if we can pick up on any different presences. Okay, I'm on the first two stairs. Are you going to show yourself to me? There's the stairs up there. If I do that, you can see everything behind me. If there's somebody behind me, shout at me to run. Is that you whistling? Copy me. No. No way. That whistle back. That whistle back. Can you um, come and sit beside me again in one of these chairs? You made one of the move, maybe it was down before, but I definitely heard you and we definitely caught that on this. We could not have missed it. That was at the back, over here. I'll take you over. Can you hear me? Spin the camera out. Sounds like somebody's trying to open the door. And there's no one there. There's no one there. That sounds like somebody's trying to open the door. I heard this. No way. Are we closed? Is that why you're not coming in and speaking to me? really loud. Okay, I'm gonna go back on the stairs, I think, but I'm gonna take it a bit round, a bit more round, go round here. What's in there? That's just a room, look. That's just a room, it's a bit unsafe, I think. That's a bit unsafe to be going in. Okay, I'm near the stairs. Come down and speak to me. Tell me your name. Tell me the date that you died. Tell me the date that you were born. Let's go in, in the ticket area. Ticket box. That door wasn't open before. Oh, where does that go? I don't know. A uh, big red flash in here now. What? As if to say, don't go down there. Well, should we go? Be very careful. I don't know what the floor's like down here. It okay. looks like it could be flooded. There's no lighting down there. That's that torch. They did say part of the cellar was flooded. Oh yeah, that is absolutely flooded. We'll just be careful. That's just water. It's that pitch black up these stairs, you just can't see where your foot is. No! Oh, that was another whistle. That was a whistle again. Henry. It sounded like Henry. Is that Henry? It's weird, I can hear the whistle there. Uh, I'm trying to work out if it's inside or outside. Is that Henry?
Okay, as I'm getting closer to here, I'm just a bit worried about where I'm going to be. You can see the projectionist area right above me. Oh, that was one of the seats. That was one of the seats again. I'm up where that noise was as well. Can you do that noise again for me? Do you hear that? That was a big bang. That was a big bang down here. Sorry, I'm just not focusing on the camera. That's a big bang. God. Hey, yeah. Like something had just dropped. <coughs> Fuck me. Oh my God. Did you, did you hear that? That was the door. Now, as soon as I put this camera on, those doors were creaking as if somebody was trying to push to get in. <gasps> Fuck off, I'm out. So sorry, but the bell, the bell has just fallen off. The, um, the bell's just fallen off the counter. So I'm afraid that's gonna be the end of my lone vigil. Cause I'm a little bit scared, I might come back. I'm gonna brave it. I'm gonna go back in for you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back in. Is the bell gone? Oh no. Okay, what the fuck was that? Sorry for swearing. Okay. Hello? Me, did you see that? That was door. That was door. Let me pick this bell up before I lose it. I'm gonna ring the bell again. I want to touch the door. Open the door, please. Can you hear that? It's like a scratching on the door. What do I do? How do I get in there? I can't jump over that. What do I do?